Ciao a tutti! Many times I promise you to teach you how to bake perfect bread in a home oven. But I don't have any more home oven. For this, I ask for my friend and my subscribe, Faye, to borrow her oven. How are you, Faye? Good, thank you. I'm very glad that you're coming here today. We can confirm your teaching to make this beautiful bread using my home oven. What have here? Well, we, we have two loaves of bread here made using the same dough. Well, the first bread is made using my method. And this second loaf here is made using commercial oven. Let's see the difference. Now, the first bread. Can you hear the sound? Yeah. So, it's good? Uh, well, not really. It's, it's heavy and dense. This one, your commercial oven. It's good. It is light and it's good bread. Now to cook in another bread with the same dough and same weight with my types. What are the three important points when you bake in the bread? Well, the three important points. Point number one, we have to create a constant temperature around the bread. And uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to try to create a small little chamber inside my oven that copy the uh, condition of the commercial oven. Number two, using steam. Yes. Number three, using a very hot baking tray where we put the dough on it. Now I try to reproduce the my commercial oven with the Fay oven. Uh, Faye, to help me to keep this uh, pen and to put it down here and another pen to put up the camera. I think that you don't understand. <laughs> la prima leccarda la mettiamo qui. Sì. So first tray at the bottom of the rack. La seconda sopra rovesciata. Trying to create a little chamber inside my oven that copy your commercial oven by making this uh, temperature constant. Good learning. To finish the work, Faye, you put the pen. All right. Um, this is the bowl. Yes. Shall we put the bottom top? Top. Okay. Right. Close. And let's start. Stiamo preriscaldando il forno. Anche se il vostro forno raggiunge la temperatura massima prima, continuate a farlo preriscaldare per 30 minuti, così sarete certi che anche nella camera si sarà raggiunta la massima temperatura. Mancano 10 minuti prima dell'arrivo alla temperatura massima. Apriamo spray. The oven reach the maximum temperature. Go. Yes. Sono passati 10 minuti. Adesso metto giù la temperatura di una tacca. Adesso le chiedo di raccontarci perché abbiamo fatto tutto questo. We are creating this small chamber that we were talking about. The small little oven inside this oven. And we are putting the bowl. And when it's very hot, when we pour water, you actually create, generate the steam. And this steam generates this power. What do you call it? Oven spring? Yes! She are a great student! Faye! <laughs> Quando vedete che il vostro pane inizia leggermente ad imbrunirsi, è arrivato il momento di far andare giù la temperatura di una tacca del vostro forno. Non posso dirvi quanto tempo dovete aspettare, perché ogni forno ha una sua temperatura, ogni forno ha dei suoi tempi. In questo di Fei ci metterà sicuramente una vita. This oven is really, really slow. Now I open the oven and take out the water. Look the color. Mm -hmm. Just a little brown here mm -hmm. and white. Good time for put down the temperature. And I take the bread to cook in for another 20 minutes. So now we turn the temperature one notch down and we 
set the uh, setting to fan and then we open the uh, door a little bit to let the uh, heat escape like the uh, commercial oven we will let it bake for a while and uh, until we reach the uh, brown or golden brown or dark brown or any hue brown that you like yeah. what you think Faye? you like it? I think it's perfect Look in it. This is a go up, but don't stay down. This is the result, the best result that all cut go up. Oh, Let's see I the understand right. the whole concept of it. But Listen. I can hear the cracking sound. Yes, Faye. Bisogna far circolare l'aria su tutto il pane in maniera tale che non diventa umido qui sotto. E vi raccomando, non tagliatelo prima di tre ore. This bread. Faye to cook alone. This bread, Faye to cook with me. Faye, show us the difference. This one has the cut, it says wider. This one is narrower. This definitely has strong bread smell, okay? And this one is the last. Okay, the weight, this is lighter and this is heavier. You want to cut it to look inside what happened? Yes. yes. Go. This one is, looks airy, this one is more dense, the crust. I think this is, you know, you can see very nice crust around it and well, this is very thin. But the most evident point is when I touch. This is definitely softer. Faye, to go for the last test. Mania, mania moment. Yes! This is for you. Thank you. Maybe a bit of mm. salt. Mm. Oil. Okay. Mm. Mm. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to know more Italian recipe, subscribe. And don't forget that every day is a sunny day in my house and in Faye's house. Ciao!